Yeah. One guy who's pop for them is Chaz McCormick. He's sitting right now at, at 280, 367, 519 slash. That's a 144 OPS plus, 11 home runs, nine stolen bases. Like, this is a guy who wasn't even guaranteed to have a starting job at the beginning of the season, but age 28 season. I know this is the time to get him was a few days ago because they have a Colorado series that's I think winding up today. But I gotta figure he's carved out, marked his territory, carved out a spot for the rest of the year, and not just batting eighth or ninth, like actually getting some decent lineup real estate. And I'm surprised that it's taken a while for the Yahoo managers to to pick up on this guy. He has been added kind of aggressively recently, but he's still unrostered about two thirds of Yahoo leagues. Chas McCormick's a good football, good football player, good baseball player, man. I you know I. Category juice plays. And Houston, even if it's not a top five lineup, it's at least a better than average lineup. They're going to get Alvarez back, I would think, pretty soon. Yeah. This is, the Chaz McCormick story is going to have juice all year, I think. Uh, it's interesting. McCormick's been – he hit sixth uh, – or he's hitting sixth on Wednesday, hit fifth in the games before uh, – the mm-hmm. two previous games before that. Uh, it's been mostly against righties that he's been batting fifth recently. When uh, Alvarez comes back, that's probably not going to be the case, but – uh, is getting good lineup territory there. When Alvarez comes back, that, that lineup's going to look a bit longer for sure. Uh, but I do like what he can do there. Another red-hot hitter recently is Eddie Julien with the Twins. He's rostered in just 10% of Yahoo leagues, but he's on a heater right now. 13 hits in his last 21 at-bats, two homers, three doubles in there. Uh, he's boosted his season batting average 50 points in that time, but Julian is a is a legit prospect. He came into the year as the Twins' uh, number three prospect uh, in their system. The strikeout rate is a little higher than you'd like to see. It's around thirty uh, percent. He's not really going to play against lefties, so another one of those players you're going to have to watch on a daily basis to make sure he's actually playing. But the quality of the, of the contact with him is is interesting. Among players with at least bat, fifty batted ball events, Julian is twenty third among hitters. Same barrel rate. As Jorge Soler and Kyle Schwarber, uh, Jorge Soler, Jorge Polanco is beginning a rehab assignment uh, this week, so there's a small window here for Julian to take advantage. But I think he'll probably have a role even after Polanco comes back, uh, and probably some good real estate too. I believe he's been hitting second recently for the Twins, so in the short term, uh, worth a pickup for sure. Yeah, hitting second is certainly a key kind of a tiebreaker when you look at players like this, you need them at a good lineup spot. And there's been so many injuries with the twins that it it could be a, one of several players could get hurt and Julian could still keep his spot in the lineup. So I don't know that the long-term prognosis is necessarily that great, but it, it may depend on who's cold in the lineup or who's hurt. But I definitely think he's worth a look right now. 